in this interesting question given is a yellow square and a pink rectangle such that the three vertex of the rectangle are lying on the sides of the square and one of the vertex is lying at the midpoint of the side of square the length of the rectangle is given as 8 cm using this limited data we have to find the area of rectangle we'll solve this question by two methods the first approach will be logical approach no paper or pen is required and the second will be theoretical approach let's see the solution in the logical approach we will use the fact that only very limited data is provided that means that other data is irrelevant in the question so here this angle at which this rectangle is inclined is not provided so if we will make this rectangle rotate slightly anti clockwise then the answer should remain same here the original information remains same that is the three vertex are lying on the side of the square one of the vertex is dividing the side into equal parts so the solution or the answer should remain same so let's rotate this rectangle slightly more in anti clockwise direction still this figure is fulfilling all the data which was given in the question so our answer should remain same Let's rotate this rectangle slightly further in anti-clockwise direction. So this figure also fulfills all the data which was given in the question, and our answer should remain same. So this breadth is eight centimeter, so this will also be eight centimeter, and the remaining will also be eight centimeter. So we can say that the side length of the square is sixteen centimeter. and the area of this rectangle will be length times breadth or 8 times 16 which is 6, 128 cm2 and that's our answer let's see the second approach which will be theoretical approach let's assume the side length of square is a cm and thus dh is a by 2 and hc is a by 2 cm from point e let's drop a perpendicular on dc this length ei will be same a cm and hg will be same as ef or 8 cm let's assume this angle g here is alpha degrees and thus this angle h will be 90 minus alpha this angle is 90 degrees and hence this angle here will be same alpha degrees now by if we look at the triangle eih and triangle hcg now these two triangles are similar by angle angle similarity and thus the ratio of corresponding sides will be equal we can say that ei upon eh will be same as hc upon cg putting the values here ei is a cm eh is we are interested to find hc is a by 2 and hg is 8 cm solving this equation a will get cancelled on both the side will get eh as 16 cm and eh is nothing but length of the rectangle and thus the area of rectangle is length times breadth or 8 times 16 that is 128 cm square and that's our answer i hope you enjoyed both the solutions I will see you in next video till then tata bye bye